Out here, where the dirt road ends, you'll find these guys. Locked, loaded, and ready for whatever comes their way. Are you ready? If you ain't trigger happy, then you better start packing Cause it's time to kill them all, we'll be here all fall I'm big buck bound, call them up and shoot them down Me and the boys are gonna run this town hunting Dirt road, nothing but the best to buy the crack it, don't expect nothing less Than a front leg, four arm shiver Going and throw them in the back for like a NASCAR winner I'm gonna have to admit Heart's been sold, I ain't hunting nothing else but that dirt road. This is Dirt Road Outdoors TV. Dirt Road Outdoor TV is brought to you by Dext Imaging, Pipeline Ridge, Lethal Products, and Advanced Wildlife Solutions. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Dirt Road Outdoors TV. We're still up at Blueberry Hill where last week we seen Mark Knight take a bear of a lifetime. Well, the big bears are moving. Let's not waste no time. Let's head straight to the stand. On that third morning, me and Ronnie went out and gathered up all the bear bait for the day and helped get all that ready to go, and oh, Mark, he was heading off fishing. Well, on that third afternoon, the plan was that Mark was going to go with and film me, Ronnie was going to go with Jason Kroger, they're heading back in the blueberry. Let's follow them to the stand first.
Dirt Road is also brought to you by Midwest Whitetail Adventures, Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, Paul Davis Restoration of South Atlanta, The Associates Group, number one for all your insurance needs, Pipeline Ridge, Northern Pennsylvania's premier whitetail and exotic preserve. Pipeline does it all. I hunt Pipeline Ridge, and you should too. We hunted the rest, now we hunt the best. True. Whether you're looking for the hunt of a lifetime or just a weekend getaway, give the guys at Pipeline Ridge a call. Hi, I'm Mark Knight with Midwest White Televentures. If you're looking for a hunt of a lifetime, I've got it. With a brand new 5,600 square foot lodge and over 30,000 acres, there is numerous Boone and Crockett bucks killed every year. If you want a chance to put yourself in the record books, come hunt with Midwest White Televentures here in Kansas, because we are Kansas finest. Mark Knight at 678-300-5787. Forest Draw from Advanced Wildlife Solution is a long distance deer attractant with double the protein and 10 times the attractant of corn. Here's a few deer that fell victim to Forest Draw. This fall, if you want to put a big buck in the back of your truck, don't take a chance with the rest. Make sure you have the best. Get yourself a bag of Forest Draw from Advanced Wildlife Solutions. With the Anchor Sight, your ability to hunt more effectively with greater accuracy is about to change. The Anchor Sight will increase your long range accuracy, open your field of view to the target, and increase your ability to shoot accurately in low light. Eliminating the peep sight will make you a better hunter. Getting and setting up your cost effective Anchor Sight is easy. Go to anchorsight.com and order your Anchor Sight right now. This segment is brought to you by the Associate Group, ensuring family, business, and the transportation industry for over three generations. Well, third night, the night down here in Blueberry Hill, out there I'm Saskatchewan. The old Silver Fox killed a giant last night, so. He's up running the camera at night. Come into a bait tent. Mark on it a little bit earlier and I hunted this bait last year, but I seen a giant drag in the road, so I know there's a big bear in here. But when Mark was in here the other night, there was a beautiful chocolate bear in here, so we're gonna target him tonight. Um, put out a couple beaver, got a bunch of good bait tonight, so we're gonna kick back and see what happens up here. Blueberry Hill Outfitters, Saskatchewan. <laughs> You know, just like clockworks, we look up and here comes the first bear of the night. Beautiful little 150 pound cinnamon. You know, we watched that bear for a while and you know, this is our third year up here at Blueberry Hill Outfitters. It's kind of fun now to kind of recognize these bears and watch how they've grown. quarters of the way through an interview we hear twig snap look back and there's already another bear on the bait. Well that big black sow is at the bait. She fixed her head up and looked right towards us and about that time that little cinnamon boar comes ready to stand. Sound might be coming in the heat. 
bring the old big boy in so we'll kick back and see. But off to a pretty good start. Two bears so far up here. Night number three. <laughs> They end up being gone for a couple minutes. Next thing you know, we see them coming back, and this time there's a third bear. They got a big black boar with them. Pretty good black bear right there, probably pushing 300. Got bears all around us. He's gonna come back in right here. With a family like mine, I'm always on the go. So when it comes to cooking dinner, it needs to be healthy and fast, which is why I love the can cooker. Cooking a great tasting healthy meal is as easy as cut, combine, and cook. Start by cutting and preparing your ingredients. Next, combine your ingredients. Add 12 ounces of any liquid. Last, add heat, and in about an hour, you have a great tasting and healthy meal. The can cooker, it's as easy as cut, combine, and cook. This segment is brought to you by Love of the Hunt Outfitters, New Mexico's premier big game outfitter. Well, there's a big black sow and a huge black boar at the bait, but I'm going color phase or bust this year, so we're gonna pass on these and hopefully they'll feed off and a big old color bear will come in. Well, them two bears end up feeding off, and luckily for us, we still got a couple hours of good camera light left, so hopefully that big color bear is going to show up. You know, I catch moving off to our right-hand side, pull up the glasses, sure enough, we got a big color bear coming our way. sure he just TKO'd him. Come in there eating on that big old beaver. 
got two other bears right beside us. But should be lined up just perfect. I had three other cameras going down there. Mark's running the camera. Got this camera going. Tell you what, should be a big old bear right there. You know, after I shot that bear, we ended up having to stay in the stand for about an hour to wait for Oli to come and get us. And I'll tell you, the bear just kept coming. Well, finally, the guys show up to pick us up, and we just decide that our best bet is just to wait till morning, and we'll come back in and get the bear. Well, about 1 o'clock in the morning, I heard him tap on the door, and it was Ole, and he said, it's starting to rain. Get your stuff on. We got to run through real quick and find this bear. Well, we went up going out in the dark last night and ended up went and found my bear started raining, so we had to go in there real quick. Found him, marked him. Now we're going to go back in this morning, round up the posse, and go get him out of the woods, but... Just a beautiful big old cinnamon bear, so let's go get him. Well, we got back up there, you know, and it hardly even rained up there. You could still see the blood trail from the night before, and luckily for us, the bear only went about 70 yards and piled up, and he was in a perfect spot where we could get the cart in there, get him loaded up, we got him out of there. Now it's time to get our picture, get our interviews, and wrap this hunt up. Well, here he is, the big old bear I killed last night. We actually went in last night about midnight. It started pouring, so we ran up there, found the bear, flagged it, and got out of there. And we went back in this morning, went and loaded him up, and brought him back. And uh, just a great bear. He ended up weighing about 225 pounds. Um, beautiful chocolate bear. Been looking for a chocolate for a few years, and finally got one. But you come up here to Blueberry Hill Outfitters in Saskatchewan, you almost see more color phase bears than you do black. So been a great hunt so far this week. We always look forward to coming up here with Ole and you know Mark killed a great bear. I killed a great bear. Larry got a good bear last night. We got one to go. We're gonna try to get that bear tonight with Jason Kroger. We're gonna be heading off fishing and try to catch some northerns walleye. I'll tell you what, life is good up here in Canada. This segment is brought to you by the Associate Group, ensuring family, business, and the transportation industry for over three generations. Hey, welcome back to the show. On this segment, we're going to tag along with Jason Koger as he tries to fulfill his dream and become the first bilateral amputee to ever kill a black bear. It's our fourth night in Canada at Blueberry Hill Outfitters. So we're sitting where Jason Irish killed a big one. I got my buddy Mark sitting next to me since he killed a giant already. Got Ronnie. Ronnie up here. It's good luck tonight. I've been with two cents. Killed two big bears. So now's my partner's time right here. About to throw down up here in Canada. I got the lucky rock too. If we red rock, we better do it. We better get down in Canada where dirt road outdoors deviate to right. That's exactly right. That's where you're gonna see it for the first time. First time a bilateral arm MT ever killed a bear, you're gonna see it. A dirt road outdoors TV. We can wake it out. You know, Jason's one of them guys that just got an unbelievable attitude. You know, after what he's went through, he was in a terrible four-wheeler accident where he got electrocuted, lost both of his arms, but he never gave up. Still climbed the tree every chance he can. Well, it didn't take long when the first bear was headed to the bait. About 6.45, Jason catches movement. This could be the berries after.
So I told you we was going to get it done here in Canada. When I invited you, man, I knew we was going to have a good time. That's so, right. Hey, it happened. I just, we just had to get in the tree and tell them, man. Tell them, like, it's just, does this going to get you fired up or man, what? Man, I'm telling you, this is the best thing I've ever done. Uh, you know, I've killed a lot of whitetails and never killed a bear. And uh, this is on the bucket list for sure. And now that's a check mark off. But I'm definitely coming back, man. And, you know, it means a lot to be able to hunt with these guys. To, to spend time in a tree with people like this, man, is just amazing. Um, you know, when I came down to Canada, I knew it was going to happen anyway. I knew we was going to see bears. I wasn't worried about that. But the best part of this trip is, man, get to hang out with all these guys and, and share camp, have fun, tell stories, laugh, aggravate each other. Well, big congratulations goes out to Jason for achieving his goal. He made a perfect shot in that bear. Unfortunately, we're out of time for the hunting. It's time to head to the kitchen. See what Uncle Millie's got cooking this week. Here we are, right on Dirt Road Outdoor TV, in the kitchen with Uncle Millie at Chula Vista Resort. Once again, I'm going to show you my favorite way to make venison backstrap. It's simple, it's fast. Here we have beautiful, beautiful backstrap. All I've done is just cut it, cut it in small pieces against the grain. Here's my seasoned flour, wheat flour, cornmeal, black pepper, seasoning salt. We'll put that in there. We'll get them nice and coated up. Just like that. We'll get them right into the frying pan. I have some butter over there. Here we go. I have some butter that is melted. I'm gonna take these that I've dusted and put them right in there. Fast, high heat. This is my all time favorite way. in there for about a minute or so. I'll show you how I'm going to plate these up. I have some roasted root vegetables over here. Parsnips and carrots, right? Tell me those don't look good. Have you ever had them? Put them in the oven, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, just like that. Roast them for a little bit till they start to get tender. Looks like our meat's done. I do not want to overcook it. Out it comes. Take the rest of that right there, pour a little bit of that sauce right over the top, and there you have it. Uncle Millie's favorite way to have venison. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs>